Horses have the largest eyes of any land mammal, and unlike many other animals, horses see their surroundings in color. But their vision is two color, meaning they can perceive blue and green colors of the spectrum, but cannot fully distinguish red. Owing to such eye positioning, these animals have a vision range of more than 350 degrees. This means that horses can see everything that is going on behind them and can react to possible dangers. Moreover, good eyesight makes it easy for a horse to distinguish objects in the darkness. Apart from having good eyesight, horses also possess an incredible sense of smell. Domestic horses can use their sense of smell to find their saddles and locate their stable or owner. Horses can help people of all ages overcome various medical issues. Interaction with horses on physical and psychological levels, as well as therapeutic riding, have positive effects on the human nervous system and help to relieve stress. Surprisingly, the therapeutic use of horses has freed many people from their phobias, anxiety, and fears. A relationship that develops between a patient and a horse allows this person to engage with nature through a beautiful and peaceful animal. This relationship helps to build trust, respect, compassion, and self-confidence. Hippotherapy is a great way to strengthen body muscles and improve posture. It can also positively reflect on body balance or coordination. Horses have lived on Earth for more than 50 million years. Most likely the first known ancestor of the horse is a prehistoric horse called Eohippus. It had four padded toes on the front legs and three padded toes on the back legs. Being grass-eating animals, horses usually choose semi-arid regions of steppes and prairies. But due to domestication, today these equine animals are found all over the world. It is believed that horses were first domesticated in Central Asia prior to 3500 BC. Back then, horses were used mostly for milk and meat. Eventually, horses joined oxen as a form of animal transportation. Apart from domesticated horses, science distinguishes feral and truly wild horses. Feral horses are born and live in the wild, but are descended from domesticated animals. There is a widespread thought that Mustangs are wild horses, but they are actually descendants of Spanish horses that are called Iberian horses. So, Mustangs actually belong to feral horses and not wild horses. A truly wild horse, however, is a species or subspecies with no ancestors that were ever domesticated. Nowadays, there is only one remaining wild horse species left. Horses can sometimes be observed rolling around on the ground, and there are several reasons for doing so. It's a form of relaxation because rolling from side to side stimulates blood circulation and helps to reduce pain or deal with discomfort. Other reasons for rolling around include self-maintenance and grooming. The dust that collects on the animal's coat during rolling is intended to cope with oily skin and kill insects. In winter, the collected dust and dirt on the skin forms an additional warm layer for the horse. Horses are herd animals. A herd can consist of 3 to 20 animals and is characterized by a clear hierarchy of rank, where the dominant individual is in charge. This dominant individual is usually a mature male, which is called a stallion. The rest of the herd is made up of females and their young. When young males become colts at around 2 years of age, the stallion drives them away. The colts then roam with other young males until they can gather their own band of females. Vocalizations are highly important to horses as they belong to the list of important communication techniques. Horses communicate through whinnying, using sounds of different pitch, mutual grooming, and body language. Whinnying and neighing sounds are elicited when horses meet or leave each other. Stallions snort to alert others of potential danger. 
Adult female horses use deep, smooth sounds and wicker when they are nursing an infant horse. Horses, similarly to such mammals as cows, giraffes, and elephants, have a physiological adaptation that is called stay apparatus. Horses are prey animals, they run to survive and only fight if they have to. So this adaptation allows them to doze off while standing up and immediately react to predator attacks. Horses sleep better when in groups. Most of the group can sleep in the lying position that allows them to reach the deep sleep phase while some members of the herd serve as guards. The guards can lightly doze off in the standing position and be ready to notify others about possible dangers or predator attacks. Thanks to their cognitive abilities, horses place very high in the animal intelligence hierarchy. Some scientists claim that horses can be smarter than even dogs. Horses are known to perform various cognitive tasks as they have good spatial discrimination abilities and show good results in problem solving and memorization. Horses excel at simple learning but are also able to perform more advanced tasks that involve categorization, concept learning, and a degree of concept formation. Recent research shows that horses can not only communicate with humans through various means such as stomping feet, biting or knocking holes in stall walls, but also have an ability to recognize symbols and to ascribe different meanings to them. Domesticated horses can analyze human behavior and have proven to be amazingly loyal to their owners. Moreover, horses are social creatures in nature and can form heartwarming bonds with other animals, especially with dogs and cats. There are more than 400 different breeds of horses. Horses can grow to incredible sizes. They can reach the height of 69 inches from hoof to shoulder and weigh as much as 2,200 pounds. But not all horses are so big. The horses that belong to smaller breeds usually reach the hoof to shoulder height of about 30 inches and weigh about 120 pounds. Horses' anatomy enables these equine animals to bet on speed when they have to escape predators. They have a well-developed sense of balance and a strong fight-or-flight response. Horses have four speeds called gates. They walk at about 4 miles per hour, trot no faster than 11 miles per hour, canter at about 15 miles per hour, and gallop where they run up to 30 miles per hour. Some horses are trained to gallop even faster, so the world record for a horse galloping over a short distance is 43.97 miles per hour. There are several horse hybrids which were formed as a result of crossbreeding horses with other members of their genus. The most common hybrid is the mule, a cross between a male donkey and a mare. A related hybrid, a hinny, is a cross between a stallion and a female donkey. A zebroid is a cross between a zebra and any other member of the Equidae family. This family includes zebras, donkeys, ponies, and horses. A zonkey is a cross between a zebra and a donkey. A zoni is a cross between a zebra and a pony. Finally, a zorse is a cross between a zebra and a horse. With rare exceptions, most horse hybrids are sterile and cannot reproduce. 